This video is a quick tutorial of how to connect your Google Sites to a custom GoDaddy domain. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. So before starting, you need to have two things. One is a Google Site which you want to connect. And the second thing you'll need to do is to open GoDaddy, log in and make sure you have a domain that you can link to the site. So once you're ready with this, we can go on to the next step. So now I'll open the Google site. After that, I'll click on the settings icon that's on the top right. So it's this one over here. Then click on custom domains. So from here, you can link your site to a custom domain. And to do this, just click on start setup. After that, select user domain from a third party. Since we already have a domain in GoDaddy, then click on next. After that, you'll have to enter the domain name in this box. So now they've said that it isn't verified. And to verify it, you'll have to click on verify your ownership, which is written in blue. So just click on it. So here they've given some steps which you can use to verify your domain. So there are two methods, adding a txt or CNAME record. So for me, the CNAME method always works quickly. So you should first try that. And if it doesn't work, you can try the txt method. So now just click on add a CNAME record, which is at the bottom. And here they've given these two texts, which you need to copy in GoDaddy. So I'll show you how to do that. So I've come to GoDaddy and here you can see the domain name. So just click on it. After that, you'll have to click on manage DNS that's written over here. Over here, we can see our DNS records and to add a new one, just click on add. Then for type, select CNAME. And now for name and value, we'll have to copy paste what they'd given in the other tab. So I'll go back, copy the text in the first box and paste it under name. After that, copy the text in the second box and paste it under value. And then just click on add record to save it. And as you can see, it's successfully updated. So now I'll go back to the tab to verify it. And I'll just click on verify. And as you can see, our domain is now verified. So this method always works for me. But if it doesn't work for you, you can try the txt method. So I'll quickly show you how to do that as well. So I've gone back and in the txt method, You've just got to copy this text over here. Then again, you'll have to reach DNS records the same way and click on add. Under type, select txt. For name, just put at the rate. And for value, you'll have to paste the text which we just copied and click on add record. And as you can see, it's now getting added. And then the same way, just go back to the verify page and click on verify to see if it's verified. Now I've gone back to Google Sites and as you can see, it's now showing that the domain is verified. So I'll click on next and there's one step that's left to do, which they've given over here. So in the fifth point, just copy the text that they've put in bold and make sure you include the full stop at the end. After that, we'll have to go back to GoDaddy. Then in DNS records, we'll have to click on add under name, just put www and for value, paste the text which we copied earlier and then click on add record and now it's added. Now I've come back to the Google site and I'll just click on done and now it's done. As you can see under connected domains, this domain name has come here. So this is basically how it works and if you want to know how to create a Google site, click on this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.